Hey going guys, Mark here from DNA Paints. On this video, I'll be talking about when, why, and how you should flow coat. start this video off, I should start with why we flow coat. So flow coating is done to achieve a professional flat finish or for covering artwork of many kinds. Flow coating when done correctly leaves you with a more depth and a flatter finish. Once the existing clear coat is fully cured, it can then be sanded for flow coating. The cure times can vary if the project was baked and which speeds of hardness were used. But a general rule of thumb is a minimum of four to six weeks after baking. Okay, so in regards to how, so this can be covered in two topics. Uh, first of all, the prep and the products used. So regarding the prep, a block sanding with 800 grit, wet or wet or dry orbital sanding with 800 grit. Just to touch base a little bit more on the prep work regarding flow coating, you've probably all heard the term, it's all in the prep work. Well, the prep work doesn't actually end when the sanding is finished. Uh, blowing down panels inside and out, or maybe you're flow coating a whole car, using a pressure washer and cleaning that car inside and out before drying it off to put it in the booth for masking is key. You really want uh, the objects or panels that you're flow coating to be as clean as possible on the inside and out, and the panel stands or tables that you're painting on must be blown off, uh, have fresh paper laid down, etc. At every single step of the preparation stage before even putting the clear coat in your spray gun needs to be really thoroughly like, cleaned so you get a much nicer, cleaner job. In regarding the products used to flow coat, either our custom MS Clear or our Diamond HS Clear using slow FX hardeners is preferred. So for this video guys, I'll be using our custom Clear and I'll be using the slow FX hardener. Let's get into it. 